Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Girls That Get It podcast with your hosts, Ken and Han. We're back for episode 11, I believe. And we are it's playing We're Not Really Strangers again. Ladies we played it last Ireland, week we are and it was a blast. 18 seconds in and it's already Wait, frozen. what? Are you shitting me? <laughs> no. But what? you know what? We're going to keep it cruising. We're going to keep gonna it go cruising. We're going to go because... Long story short, we filmed this episode on Tuesday night, and it was completely corrupted. The audio was all wrong, and it kept cutting out. And so we're trying again, but we're just going to push through and hope that it works. Can you still hear me? Yes, I can hear. See okay. you. Everything's fine. You just pause okay, for cool. a second. Okay, great. Um, so yeah, we played this last week, and we're going to play it again because it was a lot of fun, and it just keeps fun combos going. If you want to explain yeah. a brief description of the game, you can. Yes, yes. If you haven't listened to our previous episode, we played the same game and explained it a little bit more in detail. So check out those answers. But if you're joining us for the first time this episode, this is a game called We're Not Really Strangers. It's based around the idea of getting to know someone better through questions. Um, And this pack that we're playing is specifically designed for best friends or just friends in general. Maybe best is a stretch um, Mm -hmm. for some of you out there. There's three levels of cards. One's connection, one's perception, and one's... um, Reflection. Reflection. Mm -hmm. Um, But we're just going to alternate taking turns asking and answering questions. Um, But they're just honestly such thought-provoking statements that really let you get to know us on a better level. So yeah, we're here for it. Okay, I have all the questions, so I'll be reading them, but we'll be like alternating who answers. So, yes, question one, level one, question one, I guess I'll ask you first. Mm-hmm. Um, what is something I could do for hours on end without getting bored? Oh, hmm. I mean, you love a good movie moment, but hours on end, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about hours. I feel like on a good day maybe shopping like oh, when you're yeah. in the mood you just mm-hmm. keep it moving mm-hmm. it's a good one yeah like when you're on the hunt for like a good thrift find or you mm. just got money like the post holiday shopping trip you know the she seasonal said when you got i need a yeah. refresh it's true i always need a re- i need a refresh now so you time to go hit say up. that <laughs> i know because it's true um but yeah okay that's yeah I've been thinking yeah. about shopping a lot recently too. Like I was literally thinking about it earlier, and then I was like, "No, you've been don't doing do a lot of shopping." I know, so I stopped. I was looking at like earlier. I was trying to. I wasn't packing, but I was like looking in my closet, and I was like, "Half the mm-hmm. stuff I'm bringing is new. Like, when did I buy all of this?" The, every t- <laughs> my thoughts every time I walk in your closet. My thoughts exactly. Oh, but I still need more. I always need more. <laughs> don't we all? Don't um, we all? Okay. Oh, dang. This one's good. I wish you were answering this for me, but I'm answering it for you. So you are asking me, what qualities do I think you need most in a long-term partner? And then it says, what do you tend to go for? So what... So, okay, go ahead. You can re-ask me. So this is me asking Hannah. Hannah. What qualities do you think I should look for in a long-term partner? And what is the type of person that I typically go for? Okay. <laughs> so. Yep. Let it, let it go. Should I start it. for, I guess I'll go in order because they asked what do you need and then what do yeah. you want. So what you need or what you, I think you should look for um, in a long-term partner would be somebody who is... Uh, confident okay independent sure big big on that one can like take take charge in the sense that not because you can't but because i feel like you normally are like a dominant personality and like you get Mm -hmm. stuff done when other people are just sitting around not making decisions so i feel like you need somebody who can like show you that they can do it too and you don't always have to um, cause then that just Snaps shows that they care that and it's just true. Yes. Um, yes. what else? I said confident, independent. 
uh, can like take initiative. Those would be my big three ones. Like my big three. Respect. Obviously, like I, I'm not gonna like kind, nice, funny, all that stuff. But those big three yeah. ones are the main ones I think of. Um, and yeah, what do you tend to go for? Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I want to say assholes, <laughs> but uh, it's been a minute. It's been a minute, but yeah, that too. So I did go. I feel like you always assholes. Yes, and I also the ones feel that like win you... me over though are the nice guys. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I also feel like you tend to like guys who are just like here for a good time. Like, whether it's five years ago or five months ago, like, I feel like they're never going to get like, serious. No, I feel like they're always just here to party and have, fun. like, yeah, not all of them. That's a big generalization. But I don't know. I feel like you always tend to go for, like, the goofy uh, one who's just here to yeah. s- chill and then and then feelings get involved and then. <laughs> and then things can go wrong or maybe not even go wrong and then they're just like oh i'm just chilling and then you're like oh, okay cool like same <laughs> but right like do you that... just chill like this with all your friends yeah right sure. yeah sure. Th- exactly um because then things escalate as they do and then yes i guess yes. i'm i'm always just trying to party and chill too but i don't be doing the same you always <laughs> go for maybe not always but you tend to go for brunettes that's like a physical thing i'll put in there oh facts Fact, for sure you will, you will not catch me with a blondie i got to go <laughs> yeah so right. that's that's my hot take <laughs> Ooh, that was pretty spot on i would say i'll give you that thanks for not thanks. roasting me <laughs> i tried to hold back <laughs> okay interesting I don't know if we should answer this one. I'll read it to you just to see. It says, which one of your other friends do you think I'd be most compatible with? Explain. Oh. Like, does that just mean who who would I just, who would I get along with best of your friends? Yeah. Or me? I could answer, but I just don't think it would be insightful for the listeners because they don't know. That's what I'm saying because they don't know who they are. Yeah. Okay. I'll skip it. Um. (laughs) Who do you think was the last person I stalked on social media? What was I looking for? Hmm. <laughs> well, it's a different time. You're not really stalking for like stalking purposes these days. Yeah. yeah. It's probably myself, to be quite honest. She's just like, what's Ken been up to? <laughs> you know? That's funny. I definitely check Hannah's TikTok at least once a day to see if she's posted anything new. So it probably. <laughs> do you have the thing on TikTok where it's like so and so viewed your profile? Yeah. So it probably looks like I'm stalking certain people, but I'm, I'm, I mean, you're I guess just I checking am. out, trying to see if they posted up. new stuff. Yeah. I don't want to miss anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Potentially like a celebrity or someone. I don't think it'd be anyone of like tea worthy. No, I'm trying to think of yes. who. Maybe like Drake. Oh, I, no, not Drake, but he's definitely oh. in my recent searches for sure. <laughs> I know who it is. <laughs> she stay looking. I do. I do. I got to check up on my mans. Um, I re I stopped. I think it was today. Actually, I was looking at this YouTube couple, Josh and Sav, who I think I've mentioned before. You love them. I do, and they haven't posted on, on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, anything in like two months, and they haven't said a single word about oh. it. And so everybody's like, "Wait, what the heck? Like, are you y'all felt good?" The void. Yeah. Right. And so I was just looking, going through their comments, trying to see if anybody figured out what was happening. Mm. And I got nothing. So That's hopefully they're okay. Um, maybe they're just taking some personal time. But yeah, I was yeah. talking to them to try to figure out what the heck, where they went. Yeah. Because <laughs> I missed them. Um, That's a wild card. And it we can't do it because we're not together. Okay. Last one from level one. You are asking me... What mm-hmm. are you most likely to walk out on a date because of? Like, why would what am, what, if you walked out on a date, what would be the reason? Like, oh, what are you most likely. So, why would I walk yeah, out? Yeah, you're, on a ask, date? you're asking me. I'm asking why, you. Okay, so yeah. Hannah, what what is something that would make me very very likely to walk out on a date for? Okay, yeah, good, yeah. Um, huh. Let's see. I'm trying to think of something better than just like he was rude. Cause obviously like 
I don't think you would walk out on someone just because they're rude. Um, maybe if like he made a comment about like what you were wearing or like if he was like you really wearing that or something or but I'm like I don't think you would even go on a date with a guy who would even be like that rude to your face. No, you should learn pretty quickly if Sure, I I want anyone to voice their opinion or like if I don't look good in something or like you think it's maybe not appropriate, let me know. Right. If you're just like kind of a Ooh, over jealous or protective guy yeah. and make a yeah, comment yeah, yeah. like that. Guys yeah, that like no. don't let their girlfriends go to the gym in like a sports bra, ain't gonna fly. I'm Yeah, 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 yeah. True. Chill. I figured Come. out my answer. Okay. Um I if you this is in a setting where like you're going to dinner and then going to get drinks after or something. I feel like if a guy got too sloppy, too drunk and too like handsy and like was just like being gross and not leaving oh. you alone and it was like a first date then i think you would walk out yeah i'd probably excuse myself and leave yeah or you'd be like i'm gonna go to the bathroom and then disappear <laughs> yeah that kind of goes for like when you're out i don't have a problem talking with anyone about anything for any reason when i'm out like but the guys that instantly come up to you and start getting really handsy or be like will mm-hmm. you go on a date with me and i'm like i just met you like give exactly. me a number or something like don't exactly like, specifically the handsy aspect like if we uh-huh. were seeing each other or together fine i do not care you can touch me in public do whatever you want right if and just, if it was mutual okay but if you just met right even if we had been hanging out for that evening and like the vibes were there fine but like don't just come up to me and automatically yeah. be like hey touching all over i'll say one that I have don't pretend like I'm your girlfriend or I'm more than what we are mm. in public mm. then I'm out mm-hmm. I'll, I'll leave you right there on the spot I ain't doing that anymore I'll tell mm-hmm. you that it's happened one yeah. too many times <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 and if we're not together you better correct don't claim to be me. yeah yeah mm-hmm. true good point they be jumping the gun on that one they do they need to stop okay another wild card we're on to level two that was the last one for level one. So now we're Ooh. on to level two, which is connection. Um, this one is... You need to stop with that song. I know. <laughs> There's something about the microphone that makes me do it. It brings it out in you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What do you want to make more time for? Oh. What's getting in the way of that? This is good. That this is good. Is good. I want to get back to the things i used to view as hobbies Mm. like i want to have more time a better work-life balance by Mm -hmm. being unemployed there really is no balance because it is all the same Mm -hmm. and it's hard to legitimize applying for jobs or taking the time to work on things that you're not directly benefiting from or being paid to do as a job yeah um so with the opportunity to be employed again i'm excited to like view content creating as like a fun hobby that i just enjoy doing rather than like it's kind i've kind of viewed it as a burden recently i'm excited to do more like diy stuff and crafty stuff that i've always loved to do yeah not as something to make money from or like a burden of my time but like oh this will be fun yeah i'm also excited to not feel guilty about having fun anymore (laughs) Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i feel like um when a job presents a lot of times by being unemployed i've will feel so so bad about like hanging out with friends or going to a bar or doing something yeah i don't have i'm not spending beyond my means but i don't have like why should i be celebrating life when i am not doing the bare minimum and right right yeah so probably those things okay that's a good one this one's weird it's about outfits but it's not a good outfit question it's some it's yeah okay we can skip um okay we've kind of talked about this kind of stuff like a lot recently um but i'll ask it anyway or you're asking me actually yeah so you're you're asking me what is the most recent thing i have been influenced to buy Oh, okay, Hannah. What is the most recent thing you have been influenced to buy? Hmm. I don't know. 
I I've bought some things recently, but I'm trying to think of which ones have been influenced, influenced. And which ones have been just me buying stuff to buy stuff. I was almost influenced today by Allie to uh to buy something, but I didn't cuz they were sold out of my size. So oh, I Oh, what didn't. did she What she did she did tic- promote? She posted a TikTok about she unboxed like a it's like a mystery bikini <sighs> bag. I and yeah, I saw it and I was like, why is this kind of fire? And then I went on the website. Who knows if I actually would have bought it, but they didn't have my size. So it wouldn't allow me to anyway, um, even if I wanted to. Um, so that was, I was influenced today. Didn't end up buying it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> besides that, um, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. And are, are any of your like clothing pieces or like the style of them inspired by someone maybe? Or like I don't think so. The only thing I can think of is some accessory that I bought recently. I got which it's been a couple few weeks now, but I got these like rectangle sunglasses. Oh. Um from Target. And there was like no specific person that I saw wear them. But I saw a few like Instagram pictures of different girls wearing similar sunglasses, and I was like, "That's a cute style." So then I went to Target to see if they had them, and they did. So I got them. Ooh, look at you! She's like, "I just did that." So probably that. Um, nothing sunglasses too exciting, but yeah, are always a good ac- accessory. Accessory. I struggled to say that. I was like, <laughs> "This question is hilarious." Oh no. <laughs> Oh, I don't think you're going to like it, though. <laughs> sure. It says if... <laughs> this is me asking you. Just remember that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if your last relationship was a Netflix series, what would it be called? <laughs> oh. I'm dead. I'm dead. I got to think about it for a second. I know. I don't know. Um. Oh, I don't know what I would say either. Hmm. Enjoy this brief pause while Kenna yeah. thinks about her answer. Oh, I know. Oh gosh, what? You know, five dates in five states. Oh, that's what it's yeah. gotta be called. That's yeah. what it's gotta be called. You took the safe way out, but okay. I know. You're welcome. You little snake. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, we travel. I mean, it's not lot. wrong. It's not wrong. So I thought about something about like long distance adventures or something Mm -hmm. maybe that would be my alternate ending but i said that because our the first five dates we went on were in five different states that's true Um, that's true so that was the reason for that title that's it's correct you're you're correct you're not lying about that while uh confirmed long distance adventures would be my alternate one we did long distance and had adventures so okay yeah fair enough fair enough um this one did we already answer this question there's no possible way because i know i would have put it to the back but it says who's a friend you've lost touch with that you think about to this day no i asked that in the q a to you oh that's funny well then we'll so don't answer that yeah um uh wild card no wild cards a brief explanation in the deck there's wild cards that are more action-based so if she says she pulled a wild card, we're skipping them because we're not together and there's, it's a little pointless on an audio yeah, podcast. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so you're asking me, what have I learned to accept about myself with time? Ooh, okay, Hannah. What have you learned to accept about yourself over the course of time? She is sipping air, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> for your you, did you guys hear auditory that? Auditory pleasures. Yeah, well, I heard it. I was, it AS, it. was it ASMR or was it just annoying? You were trying to be. Didn't work. It was like okay. close, but it wasn't like high res. It wasn't resume. crisp and uh, yeah. dang. I tried. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what have I learned to accept about myself with time? Ooh. Um, learn to accept. Maybe 
that and not everybody's gonna like me and that's totally fine because I don't have to be friends with everybody that I meet and if they don't like me that doesn't mean that I'm a bad person or that I'm annoying or that I'm this or that it just means they ain't my person I ain't theirs and that's fine because I feel I feel like I would not say I'm a people pleaser at all but I would say I care about what people think about me and I always want everybody to like me I get that and I've come to the conclusion as or the realization as I've gotten older that like not everybody's gonna like you and that's totally fine like you're not meant to be friends yeah. and get along with every single person on the planet so yeah a thousand percent probably that's just a that, good one. that that your worth doesn't come from other people liking you or not oh so true and I think so many people are still figuring that out so mm-hmm. the fact you've got it at this age good cannot complain yeah Okay, we have we're on the last level already. Um, Should we do so two more? We do two more each, which so that means four. Okay, total. Yeah. So this one is for you. It says level three, you guys. Level three. Question one: What is something we used to take for granted? What's something we could be taking for granted now? Oh, um, I always thought this in the moment and I even think you thought it in the moment because we had the hindsight, but I definitely think, um, in the past with like our large friend group, I think we took for granted those times together and that time in our life. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times we were so focused or like we would pass up opportunities and I I think a lot of us, if not all of us, if we could go back and have it as simple and as fun as it used to be, like, Mm. just for funsies and old times sakes, like, we would love to. Mm -hmm. Um, As well as, we really put in such an effort to, like, see each other pretty frequently. Mm -hmm. So I guess the thing maybe now that I would say that we maybe should or could be taking advantage of more is, like, our proximity to each Mm. other. As mm-hmm. well as, like, coordinating plans. Like, right now, we've always taken the approach of, like, we just know we're going to see each other again. Which mm-hmm. we do know, and that's not going to change. Mm-hmm. Um, but we've never had to plan it out so many months in advance. Or, like, think, yeah, it's oh, true. if I don't take a trip to go see her or don't take time for us to meet up somewhere we won't and i think sooner yeah. that's going to become the reality mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there's always been some reason that we'd be seeing each other that like wasn't way out of reach for us to have to plan so we always kind of yeah. knew when I, and um, even if like we come home for the holidays um like we both have families that we have to see and like a lot i don't know stuff fills up really fast around that time so um, it's true yeah it looks different now mm-hmm and then especially okay. as, like, we have separate families one day, too. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the future. Life's gonna get busy, y'all. Booked. Gotta Booked get on the books, man. For real. I'll pencil you in. We'll, we'll make it work. <laughs> Please, man, uh-huh. see if you have time for an appointment. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, for next question. An old friend. Yeah. Next okay. question. You're asking me. What do I want you to remember the next time you're having a hard day? Oh, that's okay, cute. Han. Yeah. What is something that you want me to remember the next time I am having a hard day? Yeah. Um, that you're a badass bitch. <laughs> that's right. Um, I just hit my tooth on the microphone. Really <laughs> I didn't know what that was. <laughs> that's embarrassing. Sorry. Oops. Um, that's some ASMR for you right there. <laughs> that was great. <crazy. laughs> we should do an ASMR episode. I think we've talked about this before, we but we should. Like this. We should. Okay. Um, okay, not right now. Think about uh, it. what do you okay, what do I want you to remember in the next time we're having our day? Me trying to avoid being mushy gushy because they never got to hear it from the last episode. <laughs> True. We're out of capacity for mushy gushy. <laughs> it never happened. Um I will say for this one, what I want you to remember the next time you're having a hard day is that, oh, maybe a couple things. One, you are enough and Mm. nobody else can determine that besides 
nobody else can besides you. She's like, I'm Don't crying in the club. Don't make me cry out here. Um, and two, even though I know people hate this quote unquote advice because it's like, well, duh, but it will pass and it will get better, mm-hmm. even though that's like kind of, yeah. it's kind of a cop out of advice because it's just like, oh, it'll pass. It'll get better. But it's so true. Like so many things that I, I like have gone through or that my friends have gone through and we look back and we're like, it it's okay now. Like that was terrible in the moment. And we thought maybe that our world was ending, but it turned out to be okay. And it passed and now we're fine. So Aww. you're enough and it will pass. Those are both great advices and definitely something Yay. I feel like when anyone's going through it or in, in a low, I know both those things cross my mind and yeah, perpetuate my sadness sometimes. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's Alrighty. Good. Level Continue. three again. Well, I don't know why I just said that. Question three. <laughs> Me. <laughs> this is for you. How has our friendship changed you for the better? Oh. They want us to get in our feelings. They really do. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't think um, I could get more feelsy than the last time. I know. That's um, funny. I will say, I don't know if I've talked about it on anything before. I know we have personally. I have always struggled to keep good girlfriends in my Mm. life. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of times girl friendships can get very competitive, very hostile, sometimes toxic. Mm -hmm. Um, And thankfully, I do think the world we're living in is like really trying to embrace and like change the narrative of women supporting women and women looking out for each other. But it wasn't really until our friendship that like I got to witness that firsthand with like a peer anyway. I felt like all of my previous like best friends that were girls or like girlfriends were they were for a season of my life, which is fine. Yeah. And they were really valued. But I felt like there was always a falling out or always like we just grew apart kind of situation. So putting faith in women again or like my mm-hmm. wanting to have like better girlfriend relationships in that way. And like I don't compare every single new friendship I meet to you, but I always know in the back of my head like I have this friendship that does give me this. She needs to at least yeah. be hitting some kind of you know, <laughs> match of this uh-huh. yeah. to become, you know, in my circle. Right, right, right. Okay. That's a good one. I'm glad that you yeah. feel that way cuz I do. Cuz I, I know too. she's not going to cross me. Like neither of us Right. I think both I of us know each other dare. so well <laughs> to our core, like we wouldn't even think about doing certain things they don't even cross our minds as things to yeah. have like to do it's not even an because, option yeah, yeah no there's mm-hmm. yeah okay yeah. cool <laughs> <laughs> okay we're literally at the very last question um and we're only at 30 minutes which is okay because it's a shorter episode be, yeah but this one's a good one also it says you're asking me what is a philosophy of yours that I would like to adopt. That's confusing. So what, it says, it's a it says what, yeah, what's a philosophy of mine that you'd like to adopt, except you're asking me. Yeah. So what is a philosophy of mine that you would like to adopt? Yeah. 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 There's, yeah. there's a few. There's a lot. I'm like, what do I, I don't even know. Which one? Which one? Um, there's there's one philosophy you know which one that i've broken recently i'm scared it's gonna be on a card (laughs) (laughs) um mm. what should i what when which one do i like what do i want to adopt um okay maybe that (laughs) i'm like thinking they're all running through my head at the same time i'm like i don't know what to say Uh, i feel like i have a decent amount of like one-liner quotes that i've told all my friends to live by don't get Um, too comfortable sweetheart that's one of my favorite ones yeah not even that i want to adopt it because i mean i already have it's true um i don't even know i need examples I i need a list so i can pick from true what's was if, uh, I'm flopping on this question. I'm like, I'm blanking. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to give, I don't want to tell you them because then you'll just go with whichever ones I say. Okay. Let me think. Hold on. Hold on. Fill the, fill the space really quick. Um, what she's thinking about is like, 
obviously as best friends over time, you kind of like take different things from each other and pretty much adopt like sayings or quotes. And we've done that a lot. So she's just debating between it's true. It's true. Okay, the catalog got it. of, I got she's got it, it though. Got it. She's here. I got it. She's I got here. it. I got it. I got it. The light bulb clicked. The only person you can rely on is yo dang self. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's the one. That's the one. That's that what I was hoping you'd pick. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Well, I picked it because it's true. And yeah, that's my answer. The, that's it. It's the biggest one that changed my life. It's the thing my friends have told me that I've told them that has changed their life. It's mm-hmm. something I continue to try to tell every human I interact with. Mm-hmm. Um, and truly the people that I feel like I resonate the, mo- with, the most with understand that. Um, yep. and it's really cool when I meet someone that gets it, it's that I didn't have to teach. <laughs> right. 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 And it, that's not, it's not even a dig to like, no, yeah. Friends, family or anybody. It's just a fact that like in life, you're the only person that has to be there for yourself. So yeah. And at the end of the day, you're, you can really always know that you can rely on yourself. And I think a lot of that also comes from it. not seeking outside validation. Yeah. Yeah. That was like you mm-hmm. find it from within and you be like Hannah was saying, you're stuck with you every day. Make yourself yep. a person you want to look at in the mirror and mentally try to create the best environment for yourself within it's true. yourself. It's true. It's true. All facts, people, all facts. And wow. that was the last question. That went by really I know, fast. I know. I know that was only thirty minutes, but they were a good thirty minutes and we're about quality over quality oh, here, ladies and gentlemen. True. True to true. Um, so that's going to wrap up this episode. Again, like we mm-hmm. said, go listen to the previous one. Cause we played the same game, different questions, obviously different answers. So you get to know more mm-hmm. about us. If you're listening on Spotify or Apple, please leave us a review and give us a five-star rating. Like, and subscribe to the Ken and Han YouTube channel. We post the visual version of this. So you see like our FaceTime combos online. Mm-hmm. Um, just hang out, come hang out with us. Be our besties. Okay. It's a fun time. Yes, she's at Hannah Ranzuli or at H Ranzuli on everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I wasn't even going to correct you. I was like, yes, I am. <laughs> I usually am good about it, but I. You are. You are. Okay. At, can I cast on everything? And we will see you guys next week. Next time. Bye. Bye.